Okay, question two. A wooden frame is to be made to support some garden decking. Uh, the frame is to be in the shape of a sector of a circle. The sector OAB is shown below with a wooden plank AC added to the frame for strength. OA makes an angle theta with O, B. Our mission for part A is to show that the exact value of sine of theta is 4 root 14 over 15. Okay, so we're looking then at this triangle. Now it's a non right angle triangle, so we're thinking either sine rule or cosine rule. Now we know all three side lengths, so we're going to use the cosine rule. So if we call this side A, this then is angle A. Not to be confused with the A on the circle. Uh, and then we can call this side B and this side C. So, using the cosine rule then, A squared is B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos of A. So, 6 squared is equal to 5 squared, add 3 squared, minus 2 times 5 times 3 cos of A. So, 36 is equal to 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9, 25 add 9 is 34. Then minus 2 times 5 times 3 is 30. So we got minus 30 cos A. Now if we take away the um, 34, then we get 2 is equal to minus 30 cos of 8. Dividing through by the minus 30 gives us cos of 8 is equal to uh, minus 2 thirtieths, which is minus 1 fifteenth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is clear this up because I'm running out of room. Okay, so from here we got cos of A is minus 1 over 15. We want sine of A. So we're going to use a trig identity, namely sine squared at cos squared is equal to 1. So if we square both sides, then we get cos squared A is equal to 1 over um, 225. Now, if sine squared and cos squared is equal to 1, then cos squared is 1 minus Sine squared. So we know then 1 minus sine squared A is 1 over 225. Now, if we add sine squared and take away 1 over 225, then we're going to get. 
and 24 over 225 is equal to sine squared of a. So if we then square root sine of a is equal to root 224 over 225. And that does indeed give us 4 root 14 over 15. Go. Okay, next for one mark, they want us to write down the value of theta in radians uh, to three sig figs. Now it's a bit misleading here. Usually when questions say write down, the answer is staring at us in the face, especially when it's only for one mark. So, we've just worked out that theta is, oh sorry, sine of theta is 4 root 14 over 15. So of course we're now thinking let's do theta is the inverse sine of 4 root 14 over 15. Now if we do that in radians we get 1.50 to 3 sig figs. But that isn't right. Remember theta is an obtuse angle. Even though these drawings are never drawn accurately, you can at least take it that that angle is obtuse, so the value of theta will be obtuse. So we actually want the second solution. So sine looks like this. Now this point here is pi radians. So the solution that we've just got was 1.5 radians is an acute angle. So we want the second solution over here, which is pi minus 1.5. So theta, the value that we want is pi minus 1.5 which 3 sig figs gives us theta is 1.64. Okay, now for the final part, we want to find the area of the garden that will be covered by the decking. So, area of the sector. Now, there is a formula for area of a sector. It's 1 half r squared theta. Let's have a little think about why that's the formula, just in case you struggle to remember it. So, area of a circle is pi r squared. The angle tells you, the angle of the sector tells you what fraction we have of the circle. So the sector is theta over 2 pi of the circle. Two pi is three hundred and sixty degrees, so theta over two pi in radians is the fraction of the circle that the sector is. So the area of the sector is 
is theta over two pi times pi r squared. So the pi's cancel, and we get left with theta r squared over two. So if we plunk in our numbers, we get area is 1.64 times 25 all over 2, which will give us 20.5. Cool.